Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today I'm going to do an in-depth uh, full review about this uh, LG Styro 3 4G LTE nationwide. This is a uh, Boost uh, Mobile. Uh, other company that carry this uh, same model is the for Spring PCS or Virgin Mobile prepaid uh, wireless. So those are the these are the three companies that carries them. Okay. So in case uh, you guys have missed my uh, unbox uh, video, you can check out the link that is going to show below. So before you go uh, in depth full review, I'm going to show you guys on how to uh, remove the SIM card and insert the memory card. Okay, this uh, the SIM card is set on the bottom of the slot here. And then the memory card will be sitting on top of the SIM card. So there's a slot right here. You got to push the SIM card out. Once uh, you did that, you're going to have uh, some kind of a number two pencil with the eraser. Or anything that has an eraser. And then just push. It's kind of in tight. So I, I could just use my finger, so I'm not sure why is uh, this the eraser is kind of slippery. And when you to when you want to insert back, you got to make sure the go uh, contact is on the bottom facing down. And you see that little cut on the corner right there. Make sure it's uh, facing the front. Just slide in. That's it. And uh, for the memory card, you uh, use this uh, micro uh, USD card. I have the Samsung original memory card. It sits on top of the the upper slot and just uh, slide in the zip. And to eject it, make sure you go to the setting, uh, go, go to the storage and go to memory card and then eject it from there. And after that, you can just slide it out. Okay. The battery is uh, 3200 milliamp. I don't know why it doesn't say that on the bestbuy.com. And uh, this is the power button uh, plus a uh, fingerprint sensor right here. And then the back looks like a brush aluminum, but it is uh, plastic battery uh, door or cover so you want to make sure everything is in with a clip clicking sound so you know it's in all the way and all you need to do is just uh, power on the phone is uh, press here and this color is uh, metallic Titan, okay. So it is not silver; it is a metal Titan. So I have uh, set up the memory. I mean the fingerprint sensor or I need to do just press uh, put my fingerprint on there but I also have a pin I mean pattern lock so I'm going to show you all this uh, the pre-install uh, software is in here 
as you can see all the google uh, all the good stuff is in here google your gmail your map youtube uh, google drive play music play movie and tv and then a duo and photo you got your calendar your docs and your sheets and slide So also, if you guys want to put any more uh, additional apps in here, you can put put down the plus sign, and you can add whatever you want to be in within uh, this uh, folder. And you got your Google Play Store right here. You click on the voicemail. That's your Boost Mobile voicemail. So the reason I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, within the home page. See, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I add those uh, extra apps on this uh, different pages just to make sure uh, to show you guys a uh, maximum uh, page that you could have. So up to seven pages. Okay, guys. So you got the Amazon apps, your Amazon, Amazon Video, your Prime Photo, your Amazon Music, your Amazon Kindle, and the Walgreens come with the pre-install. You just need to set up the account. I mean, uh, I don't know why they ask you to install it, but. And you got your color ID, Boost Mobile color ID, your weather, your gadget, uh, Guardian, and your Boost 411. And also your Boost uh, Music, Boost TV, Play Phone, oh, Mix Radio, you can listen to radio. But you gotta make sure you have the headset in order to listen to it. So if I click on it now, I don't know, see, music, read more. So I guess uh, you want, in order to listen to it or change station, you gotta plug in your uh, headphone as antenna, okay? So just like other LG models, you got your DraftKing, your Air G. So you get to have a login, your games, your chat, your forum. And then the social, uh, Instagram, Messenger, then you got your Facebook, those are all pre-loaded. Uh, you got your LG World. This is just another app store for LG. So you can stick whatever that's free or unless you want to purchase it. And uh, got your uh, contact, your quick memo, and uh, emergency alert, like an amber alert. 
and uninstall apps and then I uh, got your management your storage your battery saver memory battery usage and then LG backup and this is where your uh, file manager you, if you know where you store your uh, files and stuff like that you can uh, move around copy and paste or move and then there's a voice recorder if you want to click over here hey youtube welcome back testing one two three and then you can play back the volume was lower So after that, if you want to delete it, just click on delete, or you can click on share, or search. And there's a plus file, if you want to add another voice recording. Let's see, go back voice. So this is what uh, you want to see uh, what files that you have recorded and if you want to delete just click on the trash can and then delete got your uh, calculator got your regular standard uh, calculator or if you press the green uh, you got your uh, scientific calculator functions unless you put in uh, landscape got your sine cosine right here on the right hand side and then you download whatever you download it will be in here and you go to your SD card or your Google Drive and then here is this clock you can set the alarm you can set the world clock your uh, timer and then your stopwatch Pause it, resume or reset. I'm gonna go to the setting uh, last. So, Mobile Strike, Walmart. Oh, I installed the slot Raiders and play games. Uber, those are standard. And then you go to my boost. And there are it also has a sprint uh, spot and then app spotlight. <laughs> so if you want to move the apps around, you can just click and hold the icon and then just whatever page that you want, you can move it around. Oh Dolphin and then the uh, fidget spinner, I just uh, installed it. So those two are not customized, I mean those two are customized installed, those are not pre-installed, okay? And boost uh, deals, it come with the uh, pre-installed. So this is uh, a fidget spinner which is pretty fun. So just spin however fast you want. Try to be your high score. You click on the middle to get a point, to get your gold points or money. After that, you can go to the, your card. Oh shoot! Just accidentally press it by accident. To once you press the finger in here, then it starts spinning already. So you start the games already. So so.
So my high score, my high score was uh, two hundred fifteen thousand and three hundred thirty-four. Click on back. If you click on the basket, you could do the upgrade or whatever. So this game I was playing last night was pretty fun, and they have uh, all this uh, kind of different level. Once you get to the second level, you get to or the third levels, you get to upgrade your spinners. So in this one, if you reach a level to 50, then you get to upgrade to Batman or different style. So I can click on upgrade. Let's see. Okay, let's go to the setting. There's uh, so much stuff that is on this phone. Let's see right here. So this phone, airplane mode, you know, when, when you want to go to, uh, take the airplane, you want to go to the airplane mode, turn it on. So nothing will ring and no data or, so it won't get, uh, get any complication with the airplane's uh, control panel, okay? And Wi-Fi, you turn that on and off, Bluetooth, mobile data. Call voicemail, call block, answer and call and stuff like that. Uh, share and connect. File sharing. Uh, this one doesn't have MS NFC, okay? Near communication field. So the Bluetooth, you can use uh, either Wi-Fi hotspot or Bluetooth uh, tethering. It does not allow you to use a uh, USB tethering, which is uh, allow you to connect uh, your phone to uh, your notebook or your computer. And after that, we go to the sound. Sound profile, you can click on sound or vibration only. Or silent. If you are meeting, you want to go to the silent. Let's go to vibration only. And volume, this is all your volume for your ringing tone, your notification, your touch feedback, your music, video game, and other uh, media. Ringing tone, you set a different kind of ringing tone. Well, it's not gonna do anything right now because I put it on. Let's go back to ringing tone. So you get an idea like what you could do with the different kind of ring tongue. Also the ring ID. Or you compose your ring uh, ringing uh, ID is used over group and individual ringing tongue. Turn it off. You could also turn uh, sound with the vibrating, vibration, I mean. And there's a different kind of bright vibration uh, tone. There's a different type, so you got up to seven different kind of type. It vibrates uh, with a different kind of pattern. You can also different type of alarm vibrations.
do not disturb. That's only if you want to go to sleep and you don't want anybody to disturb you. Or if you have a kind of urgent、uh, meeting, you don't want anybody to disturb you, just, just click on turn it on. Lock screen sensitivity, you get high sensitivity only or show all notification, high all notification. So you customize it. Apps. So, this is all the apps that is、uh, active or installed. You could、uh, click on block, show silently, or、uh, on the lock screen. Oh, I forgot, yeah, there's a LED、uh, notification on here. So, whenever I charge the phone, the red LED will show up here. Let's see. So the LED, you can set it on for incoming call, missed call. Oops. Battery charging. See,、so、yeah, when I press it, when I turn it on, it shows red. Battery charging. Download apps. So, everything is turned on right now for the LED notification. Click on more. Notification sound. You set a different kind of notification sound. So, let's say when you receive your、uh, email or text message or messenger or any Facebook.、Uh, That would be the sound. And you vibrate on tap, you could turn on and off. Sound effect. So, all these are set on right now the dialing keypad sound, keypad sound, touch sound, screen lock sound, voice notification, recolor ID info out loud. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. So you set it to turn on. Read out loud. Voice notification language. Okay, let's go to display. So, you could have a different、uh, kind of display home or easy home or、uh, home and app drawer. Provide separate layout for the home screen and the app list. So, there's a bunch, whole bunch of customizer、uh, you could do with this、uh, phone. And you, you could also set wallpaper. You go to the gallery to set up your background. So, after that, if you like this one, you can set it, set the wallpaper. And then also the screen wipe effect. You got your slide. This is what it l o o k like for the slide. And then、uh, go back to, oh shoot, yeah. What? Display home. You could change to breeze. Press OK. So, this, this is the breeze. Yeah, I'll see, you can see how it's a different effect. Let's go back to there and then change、uh, panorama. OK, you gotta press OK. So, this is panorama.
So I guess this icon is like a roundish. Go to uh, carousel. Then this is the carousel. So it doesn't uh, allow you to keep on going. Some uh, Samsung, you can uh, keep on going in the loop. So this is a carousel, okay? Which is pretty awesome. I mean, you get to uh, customize all this. And by the way, this is the phone call. And your text message will be in here. You gotta click on here for, for you to text different people. Okay. Okay, your caller, your contact, your group. And this one is a messenger right here. And you got your camera. We're gonna go to the camera later on. And then your gallery. Your Google Chrome. Okay, let's go back to the setting again. So the layout, you can sort uh, as by the name or the download date. And then uh, you got your grip. I mean your grid, you could do 4x4, 4x4, or 5x5. Right now it's currently set on 4x5. So a high app, you could hide whatever app that you want to uh, hide it, okay? So none of these are hide it right now. So we finished the home screen. Let's go to the lock screen. On the lock screen here, you can select a uh, screen lock. So you can select a uh, none, swipe, not code, with a different pattern to unlock it, or pattern, which is what I did, like an L. You can also select the pin lock, or password to unlock and then a uh, fingerprint. I only set up uh, one fingerprint on my left index finger. So if you want to add more, I can try to use on my right index finger. You just got to keep on trying it. Different tips of your uh, fingerprint so that you can scan it. After that, you press OK to add it. Let me test out how many uh, different uh, fingers you could scan, scan up to or add up to. Oops. I believe only five. Let me check one more. Yeah. So you can only uh, store up to five different uh, fingers or users. Got your screen lock, unlock screen with your finger. Content lock. You could also show a uh, lock content in gallery and quick memo with your finger. You could turn that on if you want, but I let I leave it that off. Let's see. Smart lock. So you can have an own body detection, trust place, trust the device, trust the face, trust the voice. You can make pattern visible like what I just show you or if you want you disable and see. Mm.
and on the wallpaper for the lock screen you can customize it as well you can select a different uh, wallpaper and then set it then clock right now it's on center you can put it on the upper left I'm just gonna print center shortcut so you could customize uh, the phone call, the camera, and wow. So you can add up to five different shortcuts, which is good. That's not this shortcut, okay? That's only when the phone is in lock position. What? Like right here. These are the shortcut when the when the phone is locked. Okay, you got your one, two, so you could have up to five shortcut on the bottom here. So this is um, to double knock it. If you want to see what's the notification and the clock and the today's day and your battery level or whatever, you just need to double click, double knock it. All right, guys. So let's see. Let's go back. So those are the shortcut, okay, for you to customize with lock. You can add uh, different apps, your contact, your or any Instagram, whatever the app that you use the most. I'm not gonna do that, so you could do that yourself. Uh, shortcut. Screen swipe effect. Wow. So right now it's on particle. You can do the soda basic circle, Victor circle. You see that? That is the vector circle. So you get a basic circle, soda, and C soda, and C. So I had to lock the screen. So when I unlock it, so you see the bubble, like a soda? That is cool, man. I didn't know the, this kind of mid-budget phone has so much device. Let's see. So the weather animation, I did, I turn it on. It shows the animation on lock screen when it's raining or snows in the current location. Contact info for last phone. You could click on here and just write your uh, email or your phone number. So whoever found your phone, they could contact you. Lock timer. You can set it immediately, five seconds or up to uh, 30 minutes, okay? Power key instant lock is on. You can turn it off if you want. And you your different theme you change black background screen or whatever you want or you even go to the store to, to download it so to buy you gotta download but right now it's free anyway so you click on download I agree Anyway, I didn't set up the LG World account yet, so I'm not going to do that then. So let's go to the home touch button. This is pretty good and awesome. You could have a different kind of button uh, combination. I like this very much because you could customize up to five different buttons on your display. There's a capture button. 
But if you it only allows you to add, add up to five. So depending on which library that you need to you don't want to use, you can just uh, take it out. But I like what I have right now. And uh button you can choose a white color or black. So I'm gonna choose black because uh yesterday I was watching video and then the button stays on, on the YouTube. It's kinda annoying. So as you can see right now the bottom it shows uh background is black versus if you turn on to white. When you watch uh, some kind of video is you will stays on like that and it's kinda bothersome so I'm gonna put into black. So the button, let me just go back there and show you guys. If you guys want to move the icons around, you just drag it and put it on top. Or whichever location that you want. I like to have a home button right in the middle because some last time I tried to adjust it and my home button become on the which is I it, it, does, it does not feel like it's even, so I like to be in the middle. Alright? So, you could also customize the corner one. Alright? So, I'm just gonna bring back my original one. So, that's a pretty good uh, option for you to do that because uh, my LG V10. Uh, it allows uh, allows me to customize uh, my uh, buttons. So you got your font uh, type. You change the different font sizes, and you could also, uh, if you don't like any of those, you could also click on the download. Again, you need to go to the LG uh, Small World. So I did not create a camera, so I'm not, not going to go through that right now. So. And font size, you change to, right now it's on medium, you can put it to extra small, small, oh shoot. So right now it's extra small. So if you have a bad ass, I, you could change it to extra large. And uh, you could also turn on the bold text. And this is where you turn on your uh, brightness. And it also allow you to do the auto brightness. Uh, comfort view. Comfort view is for you to turn off the blue lights, so it's uh, easy and comfort to for you to read. Like if you have Amazon or Kindle, you know that you read on the, your phone, then it will be uh, com more comfort to your eyes instead of too too much blue. See how it's blue. Auto rotation. Then you get your screen timeout. There's 15 seconds up to 15 uh, minutes, or you can keep turning the screen on. Okay. And this is uh, more display size. So you can turn, you can change it big or small. Just keep it in the middle. So the double tab knocks on, which is turn on, uh, turn it on or off. You could do the screen saver clock. It is on, and also mini view. Uh, mini view, and this is a good part. Okay. If your finger or your uh, thumb is too short, like me a little bit, because this is a 5.7 inch uh, screen, it, if, if it is the, too short, you might want to turn that on, the mini view on. So when you swipe on the home uh, touch button, either left, swipe it to the left, from home button to the left, or to the right, your screen gets to shrink it down. Okay, let's try it. So if I swipe it from uh, the home button is this one right here in the middle below the camera icon. If I swipe it, uh, you will give me like a warning, like you know, 
saying it's going to shrink it, shrink it down. If you want, you can click on Don't Show Me, uh, Show This uh, Again. I'm just going to leave it. So I, now my finger, I mean my thumb, I could maneuver around up to within this area. So if you have a left-handed, you might want to swipe home button to your left. Okay? So now you could touch everything that is on the screen. Okay? And after that, if you don't want, if you want to exit this out, just press uh, X. So right now, if I'm uh, right-handed, so I'm going to use my, see how my thumb, I can only reach up there. I can uh, reach all the way on top. So I'm going to swipe it from the home button to the right. So it's allow me to have uh, this uh, mini screen, right? Oh, so you can adjust uh, different size right here too. On the corner right here, on the edge, on the left hand side, you see that line? I can just hold and drag it, however size that I want. So this is the biggest size right now. And then uh, it's medium, all the way down here is the smaller size. So if you have a shorter finger, uh, shorter thumb, so you could adjust uh, smaller. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the final uh, camera test. So the continuous shot, you, all you need to do is just uh, press and hold the f photo button right here, or the camera button. It takes up to uh, 30 shots, okay, for the continuous shots. And you can also uh, record video. <clears throat> it records a uh, full HD. And if you want to take a picture while you're recording, you just click on the capture button right there and then press stop. You can also uh, turn on the f turn on the flashlight while you record on the button right here. And you can also zoom up to four times during recording. So that is the rear uh, shooter camera has a 13 megapixel and you go to setting it shows uh, all your resolution right there full HD FHD mean full HD okay or HD you could change back to 720p and then the camera size is 13 megapixel, 4 by 3 ratio, 4 by 3 if you change it to 4.9. You can have a 16 by 9 ratio if you go to 9.7 megapixel. Okay, or you can go to 1 to 1, depending however you want. And you can turn on the HDR, right now it's on H uh, auto, you can turn it on or off and timer you could have a uh, three second or ten second timer and cheese shutter you could turn that on you can either say cheese uh, kimchi smile whiskey or uh, LG and then steady recording reduce motion blurriness in video it is on so I guess that's a optical image uh, stabilization. 
and tag location is on. You can also turn on your grid lines. I'm going to leave it off. Storage, you can put it on to uh, your internal internal storage or your SD card. Right now it's on SD card. Simple view. Oh, I don't want that. Let's make it smaller, so let's see. And if you need help, just click on help. There's a mode. Right now it's on auto mode. There's a panorama mode. If you want to take a panorama, you got to slide. But it does not allow you to do a landscape mode. Only uh, vertically. So I'm going to go back to auto. And you could click on this icon for the film. You could change the different film. Or different filter. Okay. It's a black and white, whatever you want. And you can also go to the front facing camera. Right now it's, uh, I have my uh, flash on. That's why you see this uh, brightness on the screen. It uses the uh, screen as a flash. So if you don't want it to turn that off. Same thing go with the, the filters. You could change it differently. Mo. Oh, I didn't know you could have uh, panorama too. No, no, the mo is only for the back. That's why I switched to the back. So this is a setting for the the front shooter is five uh, megapixel. And it also supports uh, full HD, which is nice. HDR and Qi shutter. There's a selfie uh, gesture sh to shoot. So if you uh, take a selfie with the raised uh, hand made into a fist gesture shot or with the face uh, detection auto shot so it will automatically take a picture for you. Save the picture as flipped it. Uh, I'm not sure what that means, but you can turn that on. So for example, if I hold my fist, there's only one picture. So if I hold it again, and do it two times, one, two, it's going to take uh, four pictures. One, two, three, four. Or unless I show my face, it's going to automatically take it. So the zoom, it does not allow you to do the selfie mode, okay? So after you take a picture, you can share with your Facebook, Instagram, your Messenger, your Gmail, or your Quick Memo. And this is the beauty face. You can adjust up to 8. Or uh, actually the skin tone, so it's a similar. So if you toggle the button or the arrow down, you can share them. So if I press and hold it down, I take it up to four. So I'm going to do a little thing real quick, the speed test. This is a octa core and it, uh, it has a uh, two gigabyte of RAM. So 
So this will be the last test that I'm going to be doing. Overall, see, I've been playing with the camera and everything, and it only used 2% of the battery, which is pretty awesome. Well, you know, you drop down the menu. This is all your notification right here. Uh, auto brightness on and off. You can adjust the brightness even though it's on auto. And you press a pull, pull down the two finger. You can see all the setting that you can do with it. Battery server, saver. I didn't even uh, click on the battery saver and it's Seems like it's saving battery pretty good. Color immersion, inversion, so you can change to black. So it won't use as much as uh, power. Go to airplane mode and then uh, click on the flashlight. Your screen capture, your Wi-Fi. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the screen, screenshot. What happened? The heck? Oh, I did the in inversion. Now it looks kind of funny. Okay, if you want to take the screenshot, let me give you uh, tips. Okay, this one, you press the uh, tap the home button once, and after that you hold, you tap it a second time and hold it down. So you got one, two. That's how you take the snapshot. That's pretty good. Uh, unless if you don't know it, you can also go to uh, screen capture. Or right here, the capture button. So now it's on the screen capture mode. I was writing and messing around. That's why you see all those uh, writing on there. So after that, if you want, you can screenshot it this way. If you don't know how to do it, the first way that I just uh, taught you. And after that, I just click on the uh, check, and you save it to uh, to the gallery, or you can save it to the quick quick memo. You can save it to the quick memo or your gallery, okay? And whichever you want, you can also click on it and use it as a default app. So let's go to the speed test real quick. Another thing I want to mention is that this one uh, cell phone does not support uh, fast charging. Okay. Oh, <laughs> forgot to mention this uh, stylus. Almost forgot the stylus. So you could have uh, used this stylus. It's almost like my Note 4. So you could go to the Quick Memo Plus. You can draw whatever stuff that you want, uh, artwork. You can erase it. Or you can text, text whatever you want. I guess it's to cut the picture, but I don't have any picture right now, so let's see. So... Ninja. Alright. Another thing you can do with the, the pen or the stylus. Go to a pop memo. Capture Plus, so you capture the background or whatever thing that you want, and then you could write down tests or whatever. 
Oh shoot. The it is in red. And then there's a pop scanner. Whatever you want, but it's done. Okay, insert it. Then you put down whatever, type in whatever you want, or write whatever you want. Okay? Hopefully this uh, help you guys out with the uh, review and all this uh, about this phone. I know it's a lengthy video, but you learn a whole bunch of stuff with this. And the speaker, the only bad things about this speaker is uh, you see how this uh, back door is sit flat. So if you sit on the like, flat surface on the flat table, your speaker will be covering up, and you cannot really hear anything at all. So you gotta you have to tell in the angle or make sure it does not cover. You know, the speaker completely. I was gonna have a low sound quality. The speaker on this phone is kind of not as loud. That's only a uh, bad part. So as you see, my uh, review it only take up to three percent. So, which is a pretty good sign up uh, for this battery. You probably will allow you to last. It says up to 23 to 24 hours. Well, it also depends on your how you set your brightness. If it's too bright, of course your battery is not gonna last too long. But mine, it was set on auto, which is at 42 percent. Okay. So please uh, be sure to like the video and give a thumbs up and. Subscribe, comment, also share, and also turn on your, your notifications so whenever I upload new and latest video, you can check them out. Alright, guys. So thank you for watching and happy Monday. Peace out, guys.